thank you. What is it like to be chosen by Belgium to represent at the Oscars? Well, it's an honor, and it feels like if I can make a sports analogy, it's like like the cyclist. It's like going to the World Championship of Cinema, and if you win the Oscar, you get the rainbow jersey. I think they should give like an Oscar with a rainbow jersey, especially for foreign feature films. Well, thank no? you very much. Good <laughs> thank luck you. tonight. All right. So we are from Polish Television. And, yes. Uh, I just want to ask you, how do, could you consider us the biggest competitor right now? Who I consider as my biggest competitor? Ooh, 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 ooh. In terms of Oscars, in terms of Oscars, yeah, all of them. I don't know. I mean, I mean, if you look look at the the, the press, what they're saying, okay, a separation is uh, the big favorite. I think that everybody's going to say the same. Um, but then again, we we're all there. You know, if they don't win, we make a good chance. I don't know. I'm a movie director, not a psych psychic. What are you called? No, no. Psychic? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, they're good. I mean, I'm for you know, you you can only win an as an Oscar. You cannot lose it. You can't lose an Oscar, right? So, you're nominated. That's good enough for me. Yeah. yeah thank you. All right. So Bullhead has such dark material. How did you seem like such a lovely, up, like upbeat man? What inspired you to want to go into this dark and twisty type material? Well, I think if I make this kind of material, it helps me to be an optimistic man in life. It's like, you know, stand-up comedians who are like, very funny on stage and really depressing outside. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's for me the other way around. <laughs> so where did you come up with all this stuff with the, with the cattle farming and with the hormone injections and steroids and everything? Where, where did you pull that from? Well, the, 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 the crime scene itself existed already for a long time. Um, we had it in the 90s. Uh, it's a real, like... It was exposed to the authorities and to the public when they killed a veterinarian inspector of the FDA in Belgium who wanted to do his job and who didn't want to get corrupted by this mafia, Elliot Ness kind of character, and they, they killed him. So we were like, whoa, what's happening? One day we woke up like, do we have farmers who are actually also gangsters? You know, yeah, and that was something, you know, when that happens, you're like, wow, that's unique. That's quite an exotic crime scene, so yeah. let's use it. And I wanted to make a film noir kind of movie, so you need a good crime scene and you need a good tragedy. So I had the crime scene, and then I invented the, the tragedy itself and tried to combine it and come up with... And it's just long, it's working and writing and sitting in your bed and watching the white ceiling and thinking. Thinking constantly. Yeah. And how is the relationship with, with Jackie, the actor who plays Jackie? And his, I just talked to him about his transformation of gaining all the weight and... Yeah, he's, he's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys had a great time working together. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're friends. We actually share an apartment. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Here now in Hollywood, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we're can, buddies. We can we expect yeah. you to start making some films out here in Hollywood, though? Well, might. If there is a good script and something. And if we find the money, I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to say yes. Yes. Money if anybody fun. else says no, I'm going back home. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Right. Have a great time this weekend. Okay, thank, thank you, you. so much. All right.